Hi, I'm Teddy Bear, and I'm the hairiest guy in gay porn right now. I mean, it is just a stupid title. Like, I don't say that as if it's an Olympic gold, but it does matter in the fact of that there's still not very much representation of guys that are hairy in porn without it being just fetishized. Because I remember me as a kid, I was ashamed of being hairy because I was always taught, you know, the grossest thing you could have is a hairy back. And already at that age, I knew guys weren't supposed to look like that. From just seeing underwear ads to even like my first experiences seeing gay porn, every guy was hairless and smooth. Well, I would go in the bathroom, I would steal my sister's nair and paint my whole entire body, like head to toe in it just burn off all my body hair and that was done pretty much every other day um i once accidentally burned off my nipple doing it it the nipples are fine now by the way but it, yeah as a kid i did because apparently you can do that off an air i would start to grow it out a little bit but i still knew like the number one rule of anything is you can't have back hair like that one stayed with me for a while so much so that if i had a date with somebody and i realized like shit i forgot to shave my back i would cancel it and it wasn't honestly until um, last year when I went up, went through a bad breakup that I finally stopped shaving. I finally realized so many things I've done in my life have been to please another person, whether it's a guy or a potential guy or what I think my friends or family or people around me are gonna think or see in me. I had never once in my life actually just decided, what do I like about myself? And I, I sat back and I realized, I don't actually think my body here is gross. And I had this moment where I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm still probably gonna be single anyways, so might as well grow it out. Might as well do what makes me happy. And what's funny is when I actually did that, it was a very big turning point in my life where I actually started getting more and more confidence because I finally was just trying to please myself, not others. If I was to talk to myself, I would talk to myself when I was like 20, because for me, that was actually my darkest point, because that was when I finally got to experience gay world and be a part of it. And I felt so ugly at the time. As he's sitting there, shaving his whole body, thinking like, I'm disgusting, I look like a, like a werewolf. I would literally sit him down and be like, the exact words that you're saying now are the ones years from now, you're gonna look in the mirror and be like, I'm a sexy werewolf. Like these things that I would just be so disgusted of myself are now things that I get to show off and have people compliment and say that it turns them on. I mean, what I like about my body hair is I actually like to pet it. <laughs> like it sounds stupid, but it's a good stress reliever. If I'm stressed or anxious or if I'm stuck in traffic, I'll rub my chest hair like a puppy. <laughs> I think because people's reaction to it, most people tend to actually enjoy it on me. I don't think they're enjoying it because it's hairy. I think they are finally enjoying it because I'm finally accepting myself. That's the difference. In the beginning, it was solely for myself. And then I started getting fan letters and messages on Instagram and on my OnlyFans site from guys telling me that I inspired them to not feel ashamed about their body. And when I read those messages, it meant so much to me because I remember when I was like a teenager and I didn't know any other gay men. My only knowledge of gay men was Will and Grace and whatever porn I could somehow try and illegally download. And I didn't see my representation there. I didn't see a hairy guy. I saw hairless, smooth guys. The fact that I know that I can be something that can inspire another kid out there to not feel ugly or gross, that matters to me and that makes this worth it. I'm almost 30, and that's what I've realized in life. When you just accept yourself, that can be the most attractive quality to have. And I think that's something that if all gay men, whether they're smooth, hairy, fat, skinny, if they can embrace that, I think everybody will just be more radiant.